My name is Joan Bruce. This is the story of my family's experience of sepsis. In this short film, you will see how the nurses and doctors recognised and communicated the urgency of my mum's illness. You'll see them get the right treatment to her in time to make a difference. And you'll see what can happen when the urgency of sepsis is not recognised. Hi, Mrs. Bruce. I'm just going to annoy you and take your observations again. Sorry. Okay, yes, sir. this. Take your pulse. Roy? Yes, Mrs. Bruce in bed three that was brought in two hours ago. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's not doing too good. Her obs are changing. She spiked a temp and she's sitting at 38.5 now. And her U score is two, it's gone up to five. Blood pressure's rising, she's more breathless. Doctor seen her yet? No, not yet, no. Mm. You want to take a look? Uh, yes, please, yes. Cheers. Hello, Mrs. Bruce. I'm the way the staff nurse here. I'm oh. sorry to, but I'm, we're just going to have a look at your OBS again, okay? Okay? I'm just going to give you a little bit of oxygen, okay? Oh. Help you breathing a bit better, okay? We've still got that cough. Oh. All right, here we go. Can you put your head forward for me? Oh. That's it. That's lovely. Okay, is that comfortable? Right, Mrs. Bruce, I'm just going to go and call the doctor to come and see you, okay? A 70 year old lady, COPD, admitted two hours ago via her GP. All right, what's her OBS doing just now, Roy? Right, her OBS, she's, her respiratory's gone up from 22 to 30. Her heart rate's 110, her temperature's uh, up. OK, what have you done for her so far? Well, if uh, she's comfortable, we made, we've given her some oxygen, which seems to have helped, but I just wonder if you could come and see her straight away. No problem, I'll be straight down. OK, that's great, and I'll set up a sepsis trolley. Well, that was a wee bit of a nasty turn. Oh, I haven't been feeling well for a few weeks now. My doctor sent me down here a couple of hours ago. The nurse was really nice, though. They're going to bring a doctor to see me, to see that I'm all right. Oh, I can't stand these masks. It makes me feel claustrophobic. <sighs> Hi, Mrs. Bruce. I'm just going to annoy you and take your observations again. Sorry. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> you this. Take your pulse. Roy, yeah. the lady in bed three, her obs have gone up a wee bit. Her U scores two, gone up to five. You want to take a wee look at her? Yeah, okay. I'm just going to give you a little bit of oxygen, okay? Oh. Help you breathe in a bit better, yeah. okay? We've still got that cough. Oh. All right, here we go. Can you put your head forward for me? Oh. Right, Mrs. Bruce, I'm just going to go and call the doctor to come and see you, OK? Oh. Have a patient, a lady admitted two hours ago by GP, a high temperature, suspected chest infection. Her use have gone from two to five. Uh, and she's a bit tacky, uh, respiration's gone up a little bit. OK. Listen, Roy, I'm quite busy at the moment. I'm on a ward round. Um, I'll be down as soon as I can. OK. Well, we started on oxygen. We seem to have helped a bit. OK, but, yeah, if you can get and see us soon, that would be great. Will do. Cheers, Roy. OK. Bye now. Right, I've called the doctor. OK, he's going to come and check you over, all right? He'll be here when he's free. Uh, are you OK for the minute? <laughs> yeah? OK. Well, that was a wee bit of a nasty turn. I haven't been feeling well for a few weeks now. My doctor sent me down here a couple of hours ago and there's a doctor's going to come when he can and, and see that I'm all right. Oh, can he stand these masks? They make me feel claustrophobic. Oh.
Roy, are you needing me to do anything? No, I'm just going to do the uh, sepsis six with a doctor, but if I get busy, I'll just give you a shout, OK? OK, sure. OK, thanks so much, Fiona. Roy, that lady's use score is still sitting at five, and her heart rate's 110. OK, I'll page him again. I'll leave that there. Hi, it's Jack. Hi, Dr Jones. Hi, it's, it's Roy going at MEU. Oh, hi, Roy. The, this lady's really not picking up at all. I think you better come and see her now. Oh, sorry, Roy. I've just been really tied up, really busy. I'll yeah, be down in five minutes, OK? OK, yeah. I, like, I know you're really busy, but uh, uh, sats keep dipping. OK, sorry, Roy. I'll be down as soon as I can. OK, right. Cheers. See you soon. Bye now. I'm still not feeling any better. And this thing isn't making the slightest bit of difference. I could hardly catch my breath. Oh, and the doctor hasn't been yet. But they get off a busy these days, don't they? Hi, I was called to see a septic patient. Hi, yeah, it's Mrs Bruce here in bed three. Mrs. Bruce, uh -huh. that's the doctor to see you. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Bruce, I'm Dr. Jones. I have the sepsis trolley here. Oh, great, thanks. Days x rays. Bruce. Are you allergic to any antibiotics, Mrs. Bruce? No, I don't think so, Doctor. I've, I've had them before for my chest. OK, give me a wee second, all right? I think this patient's septic. We really need to get going on this as soon as possible. Can you get IV access and some fluids started? I'll take cultures and bloods. And can you drop a gram of amoxicillin and 500 milligrams of clarithromycin ready to give when I take the cultures? OK. I can't cannulate, but I can take bloods. No problem. I'll put the cannula in first. OK. Mrs Bruce, I think you've got a nasty chest infection, which is why you're feeling so lousy. I need to keep a close eye on you. Give you the oxygen, a bit of extra fluid, and an antibiotic into your vein. We'll get some blood tests as well while we're at it. Now, when did you last pass any urine? Do you feel you need to go now? Well, she used to commode about an hour ago. She passed like a few hundred mils. Oh, that's great. Can we start a fluid balance chart, please? Keep an eye on that. And can you try to get a sample of sputum and maybe a urine sample as well? Next time she goes. OK. Thanks very much. Mrs. Bruce, I'm just going to go off and wash my hands and I'll pop back and put a drip in you. Is that OK? Thank you. That's good. It seems like I've got something. You just don't want to feel that you're wasting their time. You never know. I might get home in time to see that new wildlife programme that starts in the telly the night. <laughs> Hi, I was called to your patient. Yeah, it's Mrs. Bruce in bed three. Mrs. Bruce, uh -huh. that's the doctor to see you. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Bruce, I'm Dr. Jones. Do you mind if I examine you? Is that all right? I can't find any bloods in the system for her yet. I'd better get some. Has she got a cannula in? No, but she'll probably need one. She looks a bit septic. I better start on an antibiotic. Where do you keep the antibiotic guidelines? Um, they're next to the drug trolley in the prep room. Oh, okay. Where do you keep all the cannulation stuff? Oh, benflons are in there and dressings are down there. There's no 14 gauge in here. Can't you use another one? No, I need a bigger one to give us some fluid. Hey, I'll go to the store. OK, cheers. Um... Do you want me to get a trolley? It might be easier. 
Oh, yeah, that'd be great help. Yeah, please. Thanks. Um, do you want me to get the blood cultures too while you're at it? Do you want to do them? Oh, yeah. We need to get some cultures off before we give the antibiotics. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Please. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. I've had to go hunting for this. It's not as if we never need it. This place drives me crazy. Okay, Mrs. Bruce, I'm just going to pop a drip in, okay? Once the drip's up, Mrs. Bruce, I'm going to take some blood, okay? Okay. Right, Mrs. Bruce, I'm going to, just going to set the IV up, okay? Okay. <coughs> oh, hi, Roy. I ran up the antibiotics. Can you give them straight away, please? Yeah. Thanks. Certainly. Cheers. OK, that's great. She's had the six within the hour. Thanks, everybody. Can we just recheck the EWS, please? Yes. The EWS is down to three. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Can we check her Rob's hourly for now, please? and run in another bag over the next hour once that one's finished. Can you give me a shout when you get the next set of OBS and keep a close eye on your urine output, please? OK, yeah, I'll give you a call in about an hour. Perfect, okay, thank, thank you. you. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thanks, love, I'm fine. OK, I'll see you in a wee while. Thank you. <sighs> I'm feeling a lot better now. Once I've seen my daughter, Joan, I think I'll have a wee nap. <sighs> Takes it out of you, this will be well, my lucky. <clears throat> oh, hi, Roy. I've written up the antibiotics. Can you give them after the IV infusion? OK. Cheers, thank All you. Right. When's your next drug round? About half an hour. Oh, OK, that'll be fine. Cheers. Do you know that patient's passed in a urine since admission? Yeah, she used the commodes, I think, past about 200 mils or so. Oh, OK. You better keep an eye on it, actually. Maybe even start a fluid balance chart. That'd be great, thanks. OK. I need to go back up to the ward. Give me a shot if you worried about her later. Right, Thanks, okay, Jack. Right, Mrs. Bruce, we're just, just going to put the drip up on you, okay? Hey, we'll just can you t turn the oxygen right up, please. Okay. Right, we're just going to give you a bit more oxygen. Here we go. I only came in here with a bit of a cough. Now it feels as though I'm at death's door. Oh. Is it business in town yet? I'm sure my daughter will be here. <laughs> yeah, it's almost two. I'll go and check if she's oh. there. Hi, Mrs. Brissy's daughter. Yes. Hi. Hi, Jack, it's Roy and MAU. Mrs. Bruce, I've had to put oxygen right up. Her rate, heart rate's low with the place. The sats are 85%. That's not great, Roy. Roy, it's Mrs. Bruce. She's unresponsive. Come on! Right, come she's on. unresponsive. I'm on my way. I'll put the bed down. Mrs. Bruce, Mrs. Bruce, can you hear me? She's arrested. Right, put the call out and get the trolley. Okay. 